Hey everybody, um, just a quick update, uh, now that I got Octopath Traveler finally uploaded all the way, that's the last of what I had recorded before I had this, before I had the, the, uh, stroke in my spine, so, um, I have kind of started recording a little bit, uh, one psychiatrist was like, oh, maybe it'll help improve your mood if you try to get back into the swing of things. So, I got a few episodes recorded, but trying to find the time here when I'm not going to be horribly interrupted. Uh, well, the, the chance of being interrupted. Um, because I, well, let's just put it this way. I got a I got that bone infection, and apparently it's pretty bad, because they put me on vancomycin uh, IV, which, uh, from what the one doctor said, is one of the uh, one of the strongest ones they got. So, yeah, that takes about three hours to go through a bag of that. I get two bags of that a day, and then I'm still on the other IV antibiotic, which I get three times a day, which take an hour each. So, about an hour. So, I'm I'm hooked up to an IV probably about 9-10 hours out of the day when whenever the damn thing detects a molecule of air or the infusion is complete, it starts blaring this beeping ass fucking thing as loud as fuck. So, there's that. And then... You got, you know, random people popping in who knows when to do whatever, you know. So it, it's kind of hard to find time to actually record to minimize the chance of interruptions. And then there's always the chance you'll just hear another resident, you know. Like there's a there's an old lady down the hall that you can hear yelling every... She won't use her call light, she'll just sit there and yell out aid in nurse names and scream help and it's like uh, crazy old lady crazy old lady it's like she's down the hall and through doors and walls you can still you can still make out what she's saying <laughs> it's like okay she's screaming for Carol now <laughs> or Michaela or somebody but uh, yeah, I am kind of getting a little bit back into the swing of things, but like I said, the, the time, finding the time when it's not going to be like, knock, 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 hi, I'm here to do this, or I'm here to do this, or I want your blood, <laughs> which is actually going to happen here soon, because, well, actually, no, I think I got an hour before the, before the, one comes back for a blood sample, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm starting off uh, not with uh, anything serious. I uh, decided to try out a Dark Souls randomizer, so we're gonna start out with that, and it's going kind of fucky right now. Well. It's going good, but let's just say there are locations where it's, it, it's an enemy and items randomizer. So, like, the Japanese tentacle horrors are in places they, you know, normally aren't. But, let's just say New Londo is kind of bugged because of the way the ghost AI is. So a lot of a lot of the en a lot of the enemies AI scripts don't turn on. <laughs> so it's just like, well, oh, free kills. It's just like there's this big ass motherfucker just standing in the doorways like oh. or they're walking but their attack animation hasn't been turned on for whatever reason. So it's not perfect and it can cause random crashes, but for the most part For the most part, it works. 
Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say, so I'll catch you guys later. Adios.